You're watching the Motorola One 5G disassembly. First, let's remove the SIM tray. Next, we need to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to heat up the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're gonna use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here's the back plate. It is plastic. There are 16 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the plastic cover. Here's a better look at that cover. You have your camera lens covers over here. You have some of the antenna lines drawn in these light gray colors over here. And for the first time I've seen, from what I can recall, the NFC antenna is drawn out over here on top of the plastic itself. It's not a separate piece or like a flex cable or anything like that. You also have your two LED flashes over here and you have these four square openings over here for which a 5G millimeter wave antenna would go. And taking a closer look around the camera lens over here, there seems to be four LEDs, one here, one here, one on this side and one in this corner, which light up the ring around the camera. And here's the back side. Next, we need to disconnect the battery cable by just popping it off. And then we're gonna peel off the graphite film this graphite film helps transfer heat. Now we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. You have two wire cables over here in the corner, just pop them off. We need to peel off this copper tape over here. That's covering the front facing camera cables. Then we can disconnect the cables and remove the front facing cameras. There's one Phillips screw over here we need to remove. Now we can lift up and remove the main board. Here's a better look at your main board. You have some copper tape over here. Your secondary microphone is located right here on top. You have a liquid damage indicator right here. It's this white sticker. If you need to disconnect your cameras, you could just disconnect them by popping the connectors off like that. And here's the location where a 5G millimeter wave antenna would go. Peeling off the copper tape reveals some thermal pads on top of some of the chips. And those are the chips with the thermal pads removed. Here's the back side of the main board. You have your SIM and memory card reader over here. You have some thermal paste over here and over here on top of some copper tape. And you have the two connectors for your other cameras. Peeling back the copper tape reveals more thermal pads underneath. And your Qualcomm chip is located right here. Now back to the mid frame, you have a copper heat pipe over here which sits underneath the main board and transfers the heat. You have another liquid damage indicator located right here. Now we're gonna remove the speaker assembly. We have to peel off this graphite film over here. And then we can lift up and remove the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at that. You have an antenna line running through it as well. Here's the other side. And this is the speaker itself. Now onto the charger port board. We have a flex cable here we need to disconnect. Just pop it up. There are two wire cables we need to disconnect as well. And then you have one Phillips screw over here you need to remove. Now we can lift up and remove the charger port board. Your main microphone is located over here underneath this shield. Here's your charger port. You have a liquid damage indicator here as well. And here's your headphone jack. Here's the other side. No easy pull tabs to remove the battery. We're going to apply heat to the front side of the phone where the screen is. So we can loosen up the adhesive which is sitting in between the battery and the screen on the mid frame. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the battery off. Here's a better look at your battery. Here's the other side. And here's the flex cable which connects your main board to your sub board or the charger port board down here. Here's a flex cable for your screen right here. It's run through the slit in the mid frame. And the flex cable for your fingerprint reader is located right here. It's also run through the mid frame as well as the flex cable for your volume key over here. So if you ever needed to replace those, you would actually have to pry the screen off to gain access to them. And there's also some graphite film which sits between the screen and the mid frame. You have your earpiece speaker located over here. Your vibrator motor is located down here. 
And over here on top, you have another location where one of the 5G millimeter wave antennas would go. Right now, there's basically just a plastic placeholder in place. Now onto the screen, if you ever needed to replace it, you'd have to take the phone apart, remove the battery, so you have access to the screen cable over here. And then you'd heat the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive, and then you'd pry the screen off. You'd get your new screen, you'd reapply it back to the front, making sure you run your flex cable back through the slit over here in the midframe, and then you'd reassemble your phone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. Once you have all your screws back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.